In this video, we're going to look at how to find the mean or the average from the frequency distribution table. The table on the screen here is what we call the frequency distribution table. It's really just a tool that we can use to help us organize information from the data we collect. To help us understand what each of the column means and how all these numbers fit together, we're going to use the analogy of marks obtained by students in an exam. Our first column is called the score column, denoted with the variable x. We want to think of this as the possible scores in this exam. So in this exam, the students can only get marks of 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. Our next column, called the frequency column, denoted with the variable f, we want to think of this as the number of students with the given score. For example, the score of 1 corresponds to a frequency of 2. This means that two students in the class got a score of 1. The score of 2 corresponds to a frequency of 4. This means that four students in the class got a score of 2. The score of 3 corresponds to a frequency of 1. So only one student in the class got a score of 3. Next, five students got a score of 4. And then three students got a score of 5. Then to find the mean, we're going to introduce a third column called the f times x column. To fill in this column, all we need to do is just to multiply the x and the f values within each row. For this column, we want to think of it as the total marks obtained by each group. For example, the first row, 2 times 1 is equal to 2. This means that this two students with a score of 1 contribute a total mark of 2 to the class. Next, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. This means that the next four students contribute a total mark of 8 to the class. Then we've got 1 times 3 is equal to 3. This one student contribute a total mark of 3 to the class. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. These 5 students with a score of 4 contribute a total mark of 20 to the class. And then lastly, 3 times 5 is 15. These last 3 students with a score of 5 contribute a total score of 15 to the class. Then to find the mean or the average, we know that it is defined as the total marks by the class divided by the total number of students in the class. So to find the total marks, we need to add up the f times x column. This gives us sigma f times x, and when we add this up, this is equal to 48. So this number 48 represents the total marks obtained by the whole class. Then to find the total number of students, we're going to add up the frequency column. So we have sigma f is equal to 15. This represents the total number of students in the class. So then the mean can be abbreviated to sigma f times x divided by sigma f, which is equal to 48 divided by 15. And upon calculation, we get the mean is equal to 3.2. So this means that on this exam, the average mark of the whole class is 3.2. Thanks everyone for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoy that. In our next video, we're going to look at how to find the median from the frequency distribution table. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We hope to see you all in the next video. Bye for now.